Hello, I have Ethernet module with STM32. It's connected to the router. Let's switch on, switch off and see. The phone is connected to the router. Switch it on. Let's get started with this. I am using this module and uh, here and the other side is here. The wiring diagram is here. These 10 pins are labeled here. Follow this way to connect these 6 wires. The wiring connection is here. The phone is connected to the router through Wi-Fi and when you zoom in like this and for the Ethernet module the wiring connection is here. Now I am in the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to work with Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. Let's click File New STM32 Project. For the commercial part number, we put F103C8. Uh, this is the one. We select this and click Next. Uh, put a name. I give W5500. You can give any name. Click Finish. Click System Core. Sys for the debug serial wire. We select RCC, uh, Crystal Ceramic Resonator, um, Clock Configuration, change this to 72, enter, OK. And now go to Pinout and Configuration again, Connectivity, STI1, uh, Mode, uh, Full Duplex Master, uh, Configuration, parameter setting we change this to 32 uh, now we can zoom in PFO we make it as a GPIO output and then PC13 also GPIO output that's all the setting we can click save yes now I have given the code and library in my website uh, let's go there this is the link I have given this one also in the the description and you go below diagram pictures are here cube id setting is here we have just done the library is here in this blue button we click and there are seven file here seven file here all together 14 file we need to copy everything is here we click this blue button this is the official website uh, click code download zip downloaded you go there and extract all extract uh, double click this uh, go to ethernet uh, we need to copy the h file there are two h file here copy these two copy and go to cube IDE and uh, expand the core and expand the INC we put the H file here so right click the INC folder and paste so it's here so cut.h cons.h like that <coughs> the C file so cut C win chips conf C we copy these two copy and we go to cube IDE and expand this I right click here and we paste it now this one also here so two and two four files are copied there are ten more files uh, so those are in when you go back sorry those are the files so I uh, copy and paste and fast forward the video We go back, go back and go to internet and uh, DHCP and there are two more files. Now we go back, go to HTTP server, there are six more files, 3H3C, so we copy this and this and this file 
copy and go to cube ID it paste it here so there are seven files one two three four five six seven like that another seven files are here we copy so 14 files so we go to the website and make sure these are the files already copied and make sure everything correct now in the main.c file we need to copy and paste this so in the include we copy from here to here and we go to main.c file this is here and we paste it here and user code 0 we copy from here until user code n0 we copy and go to cube ID and go to user code 0 here we paste it and then user code 2 we copy from here until here so user code 2 is here we paste it and then in the while loop we copy only this line copy it and this is the while loop we paste it here and then these are the copying and there are additional code on the library code http server dot h is the line number 14 we copy this one so we go to cube ID, HTTP server.h is here, double click this one, line number 14 is here, so we paste it here, we paste it here, like that, HTTP server.c line number 521, we copy these two lines, so it's here, line number 521, these are the line number, Go to 521. It's here. So, so it's uh, slash m mobile under here. So it's like exactly like same way URI name. So you won't miss it. And then remove the remove this one from winchip conf h file line number 157 so we go to winchip this file go to line number 157 here so we remove this like this that's all we go and see the so all that's all so we can click save all press this button save all very important it's all done so we now we can close these things. So in the main.c file, what is happening here is um, we start from the user code zero. There are some num uh, variables defined. Mm. These are the web page. Index page is the main page. Until here, there's another page. This, this are HTML page, you can change it, you can create a new one. This is another HTML page for the LED on and off. Uh, these are the some variables. And uh, this is how we need to set up the pin chip, uh, chip. So this is the chip select pin A4. You can change it if you want. If you change different A, different pin, you can change it. This one and this one and this sorry, this one and this one I uh, like that if you change the different SPI for example if you change SPI 2 or, 2 or something you can change it here this one and this one and it will work accordingly and uh, and then we there's an initialization session thing and these are the MAC address we set the MAC address and then uh, you don't need to worry about it. these are setting things you can just copy and paste I just explained if you can get it that's good uh, 
and then we until we get the IP address we run the DHCP run for maximum 10,000 times uh, and then we get the uh, IP address and uh, gateway and uh, net mask uh, this is the one I gave you is commented uh, if you don't work if, if it is your official if your board is clone board the live expression won't work you uncomment this one you can get the IP address and in the user code begin to we initialize this is and then we initialize the server and uh, we put the um, what is that um, uh, callback function and these are the two pages three pages we register and then we switch off the uh, sorry switch on the LED and in the while loop we uh, call the server server handler that's all the code we can click this button to debug if it is if your board is uh, non-original board it won't work I have shown in the description how to upload the code you can use it and uh, you can uh, debug also sorry you can get the IP address so from here you select debugger uh, make sure the live expression is enabled apply ok now select the live expression select the live expression here, here we need to put this one net info we copy and we paste it net info and uh, expand this one expand the IP and uh, this is the IP address so we will see how, what IP address we get so we press the resume button and we will get the IP address here If you don't get the IP address, check for the wiring and make sure the router is powered on for some time and maybe you can change the MAC address. This is the MAC address. We can change to different number and then we debug again. Now we can press this button. We got the IP address here. So 10, 1, 1 and 2. Uh, now we can stop this. It's already uploaded. Now we take the phone, go to Wi Fi, and uh, make sure you are in the correct Wi Fi. And then we go to browser and uh, we put the IP address. On now make it clear we put other side switch off on thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below i try to answer as much as i can thank you bye